conversation is a heated one. You've probably seen the headlines lately. Single women, especially those without children, have become a focus of criticism for people who honestly say your life is nothing if you don't have children. It is a very complicated and hurtful conversation. It's not new. Trust me, it is not a new conversation. But it's been thrust into our news feeds and its frustration is mounting. Um, I was walking into the studio and one of my beautiful producers talking with me and she just said, felt, seen, heard. When it came to this topic, she happens to be single. She happens to have no children. And she's feeling this frustration. So today we're meeting, I see some of you looking at each other. Today, we're meeting some of the faces behind the headlines who say they're really fed up with the shaming of single women, like our first guest, award-winning actor Vivica A. Fox. I love this woman. I love this woman. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. So earlier this year, the Indiana, proud Indiana native, opened up about being single during a TV interview, saying, quote, she was taking applications for potential suitors. Suddenly, her phone is blowing up. Headlines everywhere. Vivica's ready to get married. I saw the headline, so what did I do? Got on the phone with my friend. <laughs> Vivica, what's going on? You're ready to get married. She said, girl, it was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> It's a joke. But then we got into this deep conversation about why she feels it hit a nerve. Well, who else can answer why it hit a nerve? The only person is Vivica A. Fox. At the same time she's talking about this, she's got a new powerful movie out. It's called The Lost Holiday because she is about her business. Vivica has shown her versatility in big movies, Independence Day, Kill Bill, Curb Your Enthusiasm, which is a next level performance for her in this movie. <laughs> In this new movie, Vivica Goes Deep, she plays a grieving mom coping with the loss of her estranged son. Take a look. I was just telling Deshaun that uh, the funeral in Detroit would be real nice. <sighs> can we, uh, can we just not, just let's not do this right now? Oh, you know, I know what my son will want. Mm-hmm. Oh, you, oh, you know? Mm-hmm. It's about some things. Mm. As a matter of fact, he's being cremated. Cremated? Cremated. Cremated? Cremated. What? You are not going to burn up my son. You know what? I'm sorry. I, I, I really tried to do this right. I just need a moment. I don't mean no disrespect, but I just did need you, Did you know about this? I did. Listen, I don't what care what it say in the Bible. He is not burning up my son. We don't do that. You got to come on. Sam, Sam, please welcome award-winning actor Vivica A. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So many things to talk about. The movie, but I just said the birthday. Happy mm. belated birthday. Yeah. 60. 60. <laughs> so when I talked to you, uh, when we talked on the phone last, you were on your way to Jamaica to hang out with your friends for the birthday, and then you were going to have something in Indiana yes. that was supposed to be intimate and small, mm -hmm. but it, it was blown up. Completely. Yes. yes. Thanks to my brother Marvin, who's also <laughs> born on the same day as me. There's me with my sister and oh. Kim, who I've known since I was seven. But yeah, uh, G Thang was there. He hosted it. But we normally go to Jamaica. Right. But um, my mom is getting older, and my sister, Shuggy, suggested, RL performed, oh. um, and my sister suggested. So she normally said, you go to Jamaica, Jamaica yeah. but this year you said? Indianapolis, Indian hometown. hometown. And then I also hosted the event for the Zetas, yeah. who sang Happy Birthday to me. My girl! <laughs> I actually think, I think we have the video of the Zetas <laughs> singing Happy Birthday. Let's play it. Yes. Yeah. I know. 
Oh, I'm not gonna cry this time. I am not gonna cry this time. Yes, girlfriend. Milica said, I'm not crying this time on the show. <laughs> Let me tell you, that dress was dressing. <laughs> <laughs> dressing. I was like, good Lord, Thank that woman you, is Giovanni. good looking in that dress. It's beautiful. Thank you. Um, so 60th birthday. Yeah, there it goes. Oh Woo! my gosh. <laughs> And it's so interesting that the birthday coincides with this conversation about your singledom, yes, right? Yes. So, as I said, you were on a TV appearance. You made a joke that you were taking applications. You got off air, and men literally started sending... To my agent, to my publicist, B.J. Coleman. <laughs> yes, but some of them forgot the picture. <laughs> right. I said, you know, all that talk ain't gonna matter. You know, let me see what you look like. And, yeah, they, they sent in a actual... Like, I'm from such and such, I do this, I'm this height, and yeah. everything. So they sent applications, which is flattering, right? Because if yes. you hear Vivica A. Fox is looking, <laughs> I can't blame them for sending an application. <laughs> but then these headlines started yeah, with, went... finally, oh, yeah, now she's looking, and she's waited all this time. The negativity, Behind I felt, yeah. started. Yeah. And you saw it. Yes, I did. Um, it was... It was a joke, as I told you when we talked on the phone. It was literally a joke. I've said it, but yeah. for some odd reason, because I was turning 60, I think they, they thought I was serious. And listen, let me tell y'all, it's not that I can't get a man. I got plenty of soon. <laughs> I want to make that clear, okay? <laughs> All right, let's just get that straight. Right. Ain't nobody sitting over here home right. alone and desperate. Because <laughs> some of the people tried to spin it like, oh, now she's 60, yeah. she's about to settle, poor her, no. she doesn't want to be alone. No. And you're like, no, no, you're assuming I'm alone. Yes, yes, that's, and a, that's wrong a bad assumption. Right. And you know what they <laughs> say about assumptions, okay? <laughs> but we gonna be on daytime TV and keep it clean. But what I know... <laughs> But what I know about you, you're a very thoughtful person. You have made some of the most strategic business decisions yes. for your career, what roles you take, yes. what things you direct, what you put your name on. So you started Correct. getting into your mind dissecting yes. why this went viral. Well, like you said, I think people think that I'm alone and that I'm, like, you know, desperate for a man. And, How did and that make you feel? Uh, I didn't care. <laughs> I mean, because, I mean, I hate to say, I know me, and I know I'm so booked, busy, and blessed in that order. Right, right. Yeah. So then, so while, like you said, you didn't care because you have a foundation. I but do. you do understand how other women are hurt by oh, this yes. when there's an assumption about you being over a certain age mm -hmm. and that somebody doesn't want you or that something is wrong with you. Yes, or that something's missing. That something's now. missing if yeah. you don't have children. So you empathize yes. with women who are feeling this frustration. Of course I do. Because, it, like, why do you not think we're less of, of less value yeah. because we don't have a mate or that we don't have children, you know? Um, you guys gave me some stats that there's, like, over 40 million single women. Right. So, obviously, we okay. Right, right. <laughs> okay? Right. So, obviously, we're okay. Um, what do you think is at the heart of it, though? This is not a new conversation. Yes. I remember uh, at my old job, I was going to be the only woman on that show who did not have a child. Mm. And I remember an executive telling me that, oh, I'm not relatable. <gasps> uh, she's no longer in the business. <laughs> but, exactly. <laughs> but, and that didn't come from a man. That came from another woman and I who got... said my problem was I was not relatable because mm. I didn't have kids. I got asked one time at a woman's convention, so, Vivica, you have all this success, this, that, there, but you don't have any children. I said, oh, I got children. I got six godchildren. And all I got to do is spend an afternoon with them. Right. And trust me, I'm good. <laughs> but you this know? happened at a women... <laughs> right, it's like, which is crazy. And it... that went viral, believe it or not. I remember. Yeah. And it happened at a women's conference. Con yes, it did. So, you know, let people live. Yeah. Let people live. Let, let people live. You know?